and you can see old sack over here to my right and to my forward the tower bridge so how about that for a little treat for you guys today now what's cool about this bridge other than it being bright yellow not golden like the golden gate but one of the cool things about this bridge is that it is a drawbridge not in the the traditional sense of like up and down that way um, but a drawbridge it still is and it the whole middle section will go straight up on those uh, perpendicular uh, towers you can see it in the rearview mirror maybe um, but, the, but the whole middle section goes straight up when there's a big boats that have to go through that would not clear and right now when the river is really high I suspect that that's more often than than it would be when the river is not high so that's fun I wish that uh, I could have been there at a time when they're gonna let me in there BMW I'm gonna sneak in there anyway uh, I wish I could have been there at a time where uh, where it was going up and down so I could show you guys what I'm talking about but you'll just have to take my word for it but this might just be one of those videos where I go for a ride down the old river road and not say anything uh, I will just be quiet and enjoy the ride especially with this gorgeous gorgeous sunset here happening right in front of me um, we'll just ride and we won't say anything and, and enjoy the view enjoy the ride um, didn't actually end up needing my um, my cold weather stuff which my wife has in the trunk of the car in front of me so that's cool it's just been a lovely day I'm guessing that it easily hit 60 degrees today because it has just been really really nice uh, there's a slight breeze but that hasn't made it any colder and actually actually coming up in this week of coming we are in the week of uh we're approaching the the month of february 2018 believe it or not we're already a month into this year almost and uh we're looking at mid 60s next week which i guess is kind of normal but again i feel like we just started winter and we're already getting back into the 60s in the temperature range um, but that's what happens in the grand old part of northern california where i live it is a and and it, really there's nothing to complain about here because it's just really cool oh that's a ferrari Woo! take it how did i not see that where did that come from we'll have to go back to the video and check out where that came from so we're riding off into the sunset here uh leaving sacramento sorry we're in west sacramento right now but we're We've left Sacramento. Uh, we're back into Yolo County. Uh, Yolo County, not not to be mistaken with the Yolo movement, as in you only live once. When that came out, I was like, "What? What is this Yolo that I see everywhere?" My, my daughter's waving to me from inside the the car. But what is this Yolo that I've been hearing so much about? Uh, because I grew grew up in Yolo County, and Yolo just meant the county where I lived. So. When I started seeing all these hashtag YOLO, I was really confused until someone had tell, told me what it was all about. And uh, we live in the county of you only live once. You would think that a lot more exciting stuff happens in a place called YOLO County. But again, we came first and we were much more boring before YOLO meant anything exciting. So there you have it. So we are in YOLO County now and we're gonna head down the river road. But again, I'm gonna uh, say it right now. If you are l looking for one of those classic that one guy conversations, um, you're not gonna have one because once we get on that river road, I'm gonna zip a lip until we get back into the city. So uh, don't expect me to open my mouth and we're getting close. Okay, here it is. Uh, zip, I'm done. Once we go past this stop sign, you will not hear from me again until we get into town. All right, here it goes. Enjoy the ride, guys. Sunset ride down the Sacramento River Road. Here we go.
I can only imagine how many degrees it's dropped since we started this ride <laughs> at the beginning of this river road. Because I went from being nice and comfortable to uh, freezing. Now the sun set. We're back into town. And I'm going to pat myself on the back here because I said I wasn't going to say a word and I didn't say a word. Uh, and I don't know if you saw it, but we rode by a few skunks and one of them was just rank. And I'll have to go back and listen or watch the video to see if I made any sort of noises like mm, or like mm, because oh just reeked oh. and my hands oh they're like so sluggish because it is cold oh and my Glasses are flog flogging, flogging up really easily now. Alright. I cannot wait to pull this into the stall and have to get back home and have some dinner. Let's get this moving. split here because I am impatient at the moment. Oh, I feel like I can still smell that skunk and it would be very, it would be terrible if somehow that got on me. So I usually don't leave my my uh, face shield open when I accelerate like that. So maybe you've got a good sound of the pipes. Um, and someone had, has just recently made a comment on my uh, my install video of my uh, Screaming Eagle dual staggered street performance mufflers and said that they sound good. That you can definitely tell a difference on acceleration. And that's really where you can hear the most difference on these uh, mufflers. But again, they are mufflers. They're meant to, uh, you know, muffle the sound. But if you did notice, though, when I had the face shield up, you can get a good idea of the sound. Um, the other time you could get a good idea of the sound was when I made my install video. And we did the side-by-side, -side and I did uh, had my one of my daughters film me as I rode by. And I think that's when you can tell the biggest sound is, is on acceleration. I really want to pass this guy up, but I'm not. I'm not gonna be a jerk today. Oh, some huge falls here. Oh. So uh, I have a feeling that I'm really going to enjoy taking a look at these videos that I made today uh, with the super wide uh, angle. Uh, and I've been watching a lot of my favorite moto vlogger, my boy Blockhead. And he is definitely on the super wide angle. And uh, you just, you see more of the bike, you see more of what I see. And it really, that's, it's, an, it's ideal. I've, I've hesitated to do it um, just because I like to keep it a little tighter. But there's been too many times now in my videos where, uh, especially like on my test ride videos uh, when I rode um, some sportier bikes, not only did I have the angle wrong on the camera, I uh, had it pointed too far down. Uh, I was also in a forward riding position and leaning forward a little bit, so those videos did not turn out the way I wanted them to. Uh, but with this super wide angle, even if I am leaning, uh, pointing my head down a little bit, you're still going to see a lot more than you would on a, on a, the regular, uh, just the, the wide angle. So um, hopefully this turns out well. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up down there. And if you're so inclined, hit the subscribe button right over here. Check out one of my other videos by clicking on the links over here. Guys, if you're riding, be safe. And if you're not riding, get riding. This is that one guy, and I'm out.